Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mr. Optimistic with another week of training videos. So, Thursday. Uh, basically what we have going on here, Thursday and Saturday are going to be the first couple of videos that we're showing, which is the end of our deload week. And basically, for this one, it's this is where you kind of you need to make those adjustments in since they're at such a low percentage like these guys uh, power clean jerk above knee, right? Or below knee are going to be within the 75% to 80%. And these need to be perfect. If not perfect, uh, make some slight adjustments and shouldn't really uh, take any more effort than that, to be honest. So, um, I remember a couple weeks ago, if you remember a couple weeks ago, these below the knees were a little squirrely, but now uh, they're feeling or I'm feeling way more confident. And you know what, they're looking pretty good too. Uh, the jerks were a little uh, shaky, just on that last one it looked like, uh, but we're fixing all of that up for sure. So uh, these ones clean below the knee, 100 kilos, uh, nothing too crazy, just trying to make everything snappy. Trying to work on pulling and catching uh, more upright on these guys since that pause typically throws me off don't know about you but these guys when i shift my shoulders back and that's when i tend to get the bar away from me and it kind of throws off my catch so when i pause at the bomb like that it's not too bad but at the same time that's you obviously want to just drive up just stand right up no pause no nothing uh so kind of fighting right there just to get into that position more confidently so I can just get up uh, but the contact um, when the bar is getting contact with my hips I'm feeling way more confident way more strong way more dynamic the bar is sitting where it needs to be and I just stand up so just being more efficient in terms of you know, the heavier weights and that's why we're doing these heavier pulls these are these are foam pretty good uh, you're looking at 120 kilos, so it's around, that's 266, if I do the math right, quick maths. But in terms of that, just trying to drive that bar vertical, uh, just simulating the clean. And you want to just try to get the bar as high as you can, try not to get the bar away from you at all. But again, you just want the things to come together. So, with that being said, uh, Saturday started a little rocky. Uh, was struggling. I uh, had some curricular activities, <laughs> not to go too much into that, so I wasn't too well rested, but at the same time, uh, not too bad, not too bad. I knew I was going into, uh, you know, 80%, uh, into the 80% range today, and just more taking my time, hitting these numbers perfectly, no misses, uh, no misses on the previous day as well. But again, just trying to dial these in because the next week, which I'll be posting another video of essentially Monday, Tuesday, uh, Thursday, and Saturday, are going to be the heavier weeks. Obviously, after a DLO week, you're going to have some sort of max out. So that's kind of how the program is looking. Uh, we only get it one week in advance, which I prefer because you, you just kind of mentally prepare yourself. Some people don't like that. Uh, but that's always kind of how I've been, trying to plan ahead uh, in terms of other life events and your kind of your mentality, essentially, right? You want to focus on uh, just getting mentally prepared for those heavy days. And speaking about heavy days, uh, we have the push press. Basically, we're building up to a max. Uh, the workout does say heaviest, so I try to do it to me personally right uh, when it says heaviest or you know just general max I try to do it with uh, obviously pushing for a max but want to do it as perfect as possible I don't want to you know throw a Hail Mary in there that I don't think I'm gonna hit uh, but at the same time pushing those max weights right so going into this guy uh, today was very I felt very well rested uh, ate a good meal, ate pretty solid. For me, I usually have, uh, before I go to train, usually about six eggs and some comfort Eggo waffles. Uh, 
those are amazing <laughs> with some butter syrup you know the whole deal uh those are my carbs right but in terms of getting prepared uh i usually use those bands that are in the corner uh of the screen where the crossfit down logo is uh basically just to warm my back more so my wrists usually use the bands about 15 pounds you can do about uh you know two sets two sets of 12 two sets of 15 just getting those uh the wrists to lock out so i'm obviously ready to snatch right um so for these guys felt really solid on the pressing portion just had to make sure i was completely stable going up because <laughs> as you saw in my previous videos that oh really put that one of six right there huh yes. cool so anywho basically anytime i attempt a heavier weight i tend to go forward i never ever miss the bar behind me ever it's always uh i try to recover too soon and kind of just shift my weight forward and i tend to chase the bar kind of like this there you go <laughs> almost lost it there but uh that was a lifetime pr which is pretty awesome pretty hyped about that uh body weight is 89 kilos so you're looking at 194 195.6 uh, give or take so power snatches definitely uh been getting better at power snatches uh we're actually going for a max as well here so this is a pr as it says right there barely squeaked above parallel um just added a couple kilos to try to hit that but just couldn't get the leg strength to get up no dice no dice but in terms of uh power snatches you know my recommendation is think of it as your elbows are tracking as high as you can and you're just rotating that wrist oh catch lock out stick the landing right so if you're able to get that rotation uh, in the shoulders correctly and have that flexibility that's something that's going to make you very very successful on those power snatches that is something i need to do for sure but these you know these power snatches felt a whole lot better i'm not wobbling too much on these guys i'm not uh stepping too much forward <laughs> as i did right there but um it overall overall felt really strong and this is going into the heavier week so uh weight i'm about 201 as of right now starting the cut uh because i do compete in about a month so really looking forward to that uh showing the progress and then gonna post the comp eventually but in terms of that again guys if you have any feedback for me or if you have any questions or uh if you just want to tag me in the post so i can put in my two cents it's all free i just love the sport love to help people grow and just get better in general because a lot of people can't afford a coach i've been there 100 percent and if you have a youtube channel please uh post the link down below so i can follow you if you want and i can also uh put in my two cents again i can give you some advice for free so if you like everything that you've seen here listen to today or have any questions make sure to like the video subscribe to it uh leave a comment say hello but until my next video thank you so much again have a great day guys see ya